So you don't understand the content browser. Not a problem. At any point, if you press control spacebar, the content browser will be summoned. You can drag any mesh or material asset directly into your scene if you want. Now normally it will disappear as soon as you click outside or go back into your game. But if you go up here and hit dock layout, now it will stick around the entire time just the way it does in Unity. If you want to revert it back to the way it was, just click the X over here. On the right under settings, you can change how the contents are viewed. Normally it's set to tile, but you can view your asset as a list or or in columns if you want. Under view, you can decide what does or does not show up by checking these boxes here. You can change the size of the thumbnails over here or whether or not it updates the thumbnails in real time. Now at any point, if you right click on empty space, you will see a bunch of new menu options. These options are the exact same as if you press the add button on the left side. So it works almost exactly the same way as it does in Unity. Basically, anytime you wanna add something new to your game directly into the assets folder, just right click and add your new material, blueprint, or whatever you're looking for. Usually the answer is just right click and add it in. But if you right click on a specific asset, now the options that show up will be a bit different. And these options change depending on what you click. For example, if you right click on a material, you will see some create material instance options. If you click on a mesh, you will see some enable nanite and UV editing options. And we'll go over some of these in deeper detail as they become more important to our workflow. But for now, just know that if you right click on an asset, that is where most of your options are going to be. You can see its details, its status, or change characteristics of it like editing, renaming, and other things that you might need in the future. Now you can also add new folders to help further organize your stuff. You can drag items directly into a folder at the bottom, or you can drag items into the file hierarchy on the left, like so. At any point, you can also click any of the files in the directory to shortcut your way backwards or forwards. You can also navigate through the folders with these left and right arrow buttons. Click here to see all the folders in the hierarchy, or click all to go to the very folder. At any point, if you want to cancel dragging a folder somewhere, just hit escape. And if you need to grab something from outside Unreal, you can hit import, go find it, and bring it into the browser manually. Now, sometimes you might just want to view multiple content browsers at the same time. If you go up to Windows and Content Browser, you will find that you can have up to four different browsers open simultaneously, which can be dragged and docked as any other window normally can. And if there's anything that you just want to search for, you can click the folder you think it's in and just start typing something in the search bar here. As usual, you can add search filters to sort things out by type. And if you're working on a big project, you will find that some file areas tend to be more important than others. In my experience, this is usually the file that contains all of your characters or all of your enemies or all of the environments. Whatever it is, if you find yourself always going to the same file every day, you can right click on it and you will see an option to add it to your favorites. And from that point on, you can just quickly go to it immediately without needing to find and navigate through all your stuff. Something else that you can do that is really useful is change the file color to help you more easily identify it in the sea of all the other folders. Personally, I recommend you spend some time creating your own color system that works well for you. For example, I personally tend to color the files related to the environment green, blueprint stuff blue, 3D animation stuff red, and special effects stuff yellow. But whatever system works best for you, just make sure that you stay consistent. And of course, if you want to save anything you've modified in the content browser, remember to hit save all. Anyway, that's the crash course for the content browser. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.